hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how to work with url parameters in react js let's get started so here i have already created a simple application and this application is using an api you know a, a book api so with this api we can search for books we're gonna try to get the parameters from the URL so that we can search for book. So you're gonna start with the query parameter and we're gonna see how we can access that parameter. We will also see how we can use this input field to update the query parameter. By the way, I am using React Router version six so if you are using a different version it may work differently but i think the logic is the same so here is what i have in this home page you know where we are fetching the books i have made a use fetch hook basically a hook that fetches data from the api so now let's go ahead and import the stuff we are going to need we are going to need to use the use state hook since you want to use that for the search input so basically the query input and we are also gonna have to import the use search params hook from react router this basically allows us to work with those parameters with this use state we can go ahead and define a state for the search input this is going to be the query basically and then for the parameters we're gonna have the search params and then we're gonna have the set param function which is basically a function we would use to update the url parameters so now that we have the search parameters we can go ahead and get the query and use it as the and pass it to the use state hook as the default value so we can use the get method to access a specific parameter so in this case we want to access the query parameter from the url okay so now we are getting the query parameter we can go ahead and update the search input you know so we can come here in the form and set the value to query so that when we have the query parameter in the url it's gonna be reflected in the search input as well so let's test this in the browser and see if it works and as you can see we have the query reflected in the search input so now i'm gonna make our application fetch data according to the search query so if we have the query we're gonna search for the books and if we don't have the query we're gonna just fetch the new books so i would like to add one more parameter and this is going to be the page parameter you know this is for pagination so we're gonna get this one as well from the search params and then we're gonna include it in the search url now let's test this page parameter in the browser and see if it works so now i want to show you how to update the url params you know i want to show you how to write the url so like here when the query changes i want the url to be updated as well so like when i start typing in this input input field i want it to be reflected in there so here for the only change 
event I am going to pass in the handle change function we don't have this function yet so let's go ahead and create this function this function is simply going to take in the event as the argument and then from this event we can get the value and with this value we can update the state you know using this the set query function and we can also go ahead and update the url params using the set search params function and this will basically take in the object you know so we when we want to pass in the query we will also set the page to zero and now let's go ahead and test this in the browser normally for the last time and as you can see this is working as expected all right guys this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one